As far as the latest updates goes from Palestine, Israel Hamas uh, agreed to terms of a ceasefire, which was still kept a secret That's by so Israel. Funny. Israeli police then immediately stormed the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound and fired tear gas at Palestinians celebrating the ceasefire at their Friday prayers, after their Friday prayers. Here it is, boys. Here's what the Israeli ceasefire looks like to Palestinians. But Hamas, right? Hamas started it, right? So let me tell you something. This is why, this is why I was worried about the ceasefire thing. I guess I'd ceasefire, like to give uh, uh, in, in accordance with uh, Israeli authorities, a ceasefire just means, you know, a ceasing of the rocket fire, not necessarily uh, rubber bullets. I mean, they're still, because they're still firing Sorry. that yeah, Tear less. gas canisters can still be fired upon uh, Palestinians. Now, for the record, I need you to understand, there was a ceasefire leading up to this uh, latest bombing campaign by Israel. That ceasefire was broken, Sue. or rather violated, by this exact same action and that's the reason why hamas gave a 12-day warning to israel saying you will not evict or uh, you will not remove palestinians from sheikh jarrah and you will take your troops away lest we retaliate this is exactly how the original thing started they are 100 doing this on purpose 100 doing this on purpose dude here look at this riot dude look at this riot that the idf had to push uh back against Mass Effect twin. No, they are trying are to, to they are literally what this is right in front of your eyes. I need you to understand what is happening right in front of your eyes is Israel saying here's a ceasefire and then immediately violating that ceasefire by trying to provoke Hamas or rather the militant wing of Hamas to retaliate. This is how you radicalize people into seeing Hamas as their only form of resistance or retaliation these people they're they're dying they're dying every f day they're being murdered they're being brutalized by this israeli by the israeli occupation by the israeli government so for them the only f person that like pushes back and at least makes israel Yo, feel up, a little bit of out. uh hurt from their actions is the f hamas's militant wing so you are if you want to stop hamas or if you want to stop like bombing uh, campaigns that go pretty much nowhere from uh, the Hamas side, at least, then stop doing this shit. Okay, stop. Thank you for being nice. <laughs> These people have no retaliation, no recourse, no rights, nothing, dude. Nothing. They have nothing. This is their everyday existence. They can't even fucking celebrate. They can't even celebrate a fucking ceasefire, dude. And the real reason for why this ceasefire, I was like skeptical of the ceasefire and I said it originally was because I knew some shit like this was going to happen. Imagine celebrating after like the Israeli government fucking murdered three nearly 300 of your fellow palestinian uh, civilians like you're still celebrating because at least it stopped you know what i mean within the gaza strip all this does and i've i've been saying this already but all this does is make it harder to fucking incorporate palestinians into uh whatever the ultimate societal formation of israel is going to look like but if you are an ultra nationalist far right reactionary zionist you want that so that you can justify pogroms, so you can justify just purging the Palestinians the that, that live sub, within the board uh, boundaries sub. of Israel currently. That's the reason. That that's so they don't give a shit. They don't want fucking integration. They don't want anything. They want either complete fucking cultural erasure, and they want to be able to control the entirety of this land. And they've historically always wanted this. And even and I said this already. Like even people like Yitzhak Rabin. Uh, who are celebrated by liberal progressive Zionists as a uh, more understanding like of the Palestinian plight. He is not. These motherfuckers, and that guy literally got assassinated, by the way, by a right-wing Israeli for even dealing with Palestinians and putting together a fucking peace deal. Even those people do not want Palestine to exist. They don't want a Palestinian state. There is no two states. They want to control Palestinian territory and keep controlling every part of their fucking lives. Do you think that Hamas is just a placeholder that Israel used in order to bomb the shit out of Palestine because America has invested like 500 million to make Al-Qaeda videos, by the way, much low from Saudi Arabia? No. 
I don't think Hamas is a placeholder. I think Hamas's existence justifies uh, Israeli bombing campaigns, which uh, is great for Netanyahu and other reactionaries that want to fucking wipe out the entirety of the Gaza Strip and keep eliminating as many fucking, as many Palestinians as possible, you know, population control. Having said that, however, uh, no. Hamas's military arm, and I use, use these very carefully, okay? Hamas's military arm is unfortunately the only fucking group that currently is able to retaliate towards Israel's actions against Palestinians, which is why whenever you fucking hear Palestinian leaders that isn't a, a part of the Palestinian Authority, Mahmoud Abbas and the Palestinian Authority in the West Bank is like seen as like a puppet state for or a, a puppet government for uh, Israeli values for the most part. And a lot of Palestinians are super critical of Abbas. But the reason why this is the only thing they have, and it's why I report on it the way that I do, is because they have no other option. There is nothing. No one Someone fucking fights oil. back against Israel. George Palestinians, both the millions of Palestinians that are living in diaspora and the millions of Palestinians living on historic Palestinian soil, uh, whether it is like the occupied West Bank or the Gaza open air prison feel as though no one is on their side. There is not a single person. The Gulf states are not on their fucking side. The only group, the only individuals they can rely on is Hamas to push back. Because if you recognize that Sash. every state and every people has a right to defend themselves in an armed effort as well, and if you see that as a justification for why IDF uh, takes the, the violent actions that they do, then you have to fucking admit what Hamas is doing is exactly the same if not even more justifiable. And the reason for why it would be more justifiable is because they have nothing. They're throwing fucking man-made rockets into Israel and Israel retaliates by very purposely and very deliberately bombing the shit out of the Gaza Strip that they already control in its entirety. These are desperate people, okay? Sorry, it's just the truth. They're fucking desperate. They have nothing. They have no one that pushes back for them. They have no one that makes it, makes anyone pay a price for fucking brutalizing them. Do you see what I'm saying? There are enough people on the side of the Palestinians. Only country to keep them under occupation is the U.S. If the U.S. stops supporting Israel, Palestine would be free. That's literally not true. Like what? You think fucking France or Germany Hi. or the U.K. actually fucking support uh, Palestinians? No, they don't. Like if they did or Italy, they wouldn't be giving fucking Israel more weapons, dude. Canada? You think Canada fucking like, supports Palestinians? No. This situation is the same as, as like, the designation or the distinction between, like, liberal Zionists and hyper-reactionary Zionists, okay? Both of them do not want Palestinians to fucking exist in that region. One of them is, like, more tolerant and more ethical in the way that they want to deal with the genocide or oppression or occupation. The other is just straight up like they're dogs. They need to be cleansed. They need to be ethnically cleansed. Please ethnically cleanse them immediately. Like, so Canada's support is like, yeah, Israel, please stop your occupation. Come on. Also, here are some guns and, and weapons and bombs. If you want Palestinians to be the fucking woke, tolerant, uh, civilized society that you think the Western civilizations are, even though we are not civilized in any meaningful capacity, we're horrible monsters, then stop bombing them and allow them to have fucking elections and shit and end the occupation if you're being starved if your communications in every capacity is being controlled by your occupying force if there if 90 percent of your water is unclean and impossible if the un has declared your area the gaza strip to be uninhabitable by 2020 before the fucking israeli bombing campaign started then how do you expect these motherfuckers to be like oh okay well i know that we're being bombed right now but we should probably fucking, you know, build a town hall, which will be bombed into oblivion by Israel tomorrow, uh, where we get together and decide to have a fair and free election. Like, that's crazy. They are, they are under a blockade. They have no airports. They have no air traffic. They have a waterfront. Like, they have literally uh, access to the water, which they can't even fucking reach because Israel controls it. There is nothing. They have nothing. So you can fucking woke scold Hamas and wag your finger all day, as I do from time to time as well. They are a fucking Islamist fundamentalist reactionary group of fucking weirdos. Obviously, they're not allies of mine in any meaningful capacity. But I also recognize why Palestinians that have been subjected to untold amounts of cruelty would probably be like, well, we have no one. We have nothing. We have no way to do elections. We have nothing. Even if they were doing an election and they elected Hamas, I would still be understanding of it because that's the only form of a standing army that they have. And that was deliberate. And that's precisely why, in order to paint them as the perfect fucking villain, Israel backed Hamas's formation in 1987. 
Israeli generals did as a matter of public record. So I get so man. mad whenever people are like, why are Iranians so not woke? It's like, motherfucker, why do you think? Look at history. You say all those stuff about 90% of the water is dirty and there are no economy. And I agree, things should change, but you can't expect it to change when the only force that is in the sort of that change area take money that is sent to improve the life of buying. Dude, 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 dude. This is such a fucking idiotic take, dude. First of all, Israel controls all water supply Shuck, in Palestine, it. okay? In both the occupied West Bank, which is an illegal act by the international community, okay? Uh, it, with the exception of the United States and Israel, okay? It's completely illegal. And also controls all the water inside of Gaza. They could literally fucking not uh, pump uh, dirty water into Gaza. They could allow Gaza to clean its water supply. But when you say... Why are they fucking building tunnels and buying weapons with the money instead of, you know, uh, creating hospitals? I don't know. Maybe because when you fucking make a hospital, that's Israel nice. bombs it the next week, dude. Like, that's what I mean. If you stopped fucking actually bombing uh, Palestine, maybe they could fucking rebuild. But you know, but you control the cement too. Because then you say, oh, they're fucking literally building. Uh, what do you call it? They're literally building tunnels uh, with the cement. So they can't do that. Israel blows up their fucking salination plants. Israel does not allow new development to occur, both in the West Bank, by the way, the occupied West Bank. It takes 15 fucking years to build a goddamn well. Israel has destroyed 400 water wells, dude. How do you fucking, how do you sit there and act like, oh my God, I care so much about the Palestinians, but like, maybe they should stop fucking fighting back and then not recognize that for the past 12 fucking days, Israel blew up the only fucking COVID area that the Palestinians had in the Gaza Strip murdered the fucking only neurosurgeon in that area to 2.2 uh, 2 plus million Palestinians rely on one fucking neurosurgeon, murdered 15 children you that were literally being done. treated for PTSD from previous glasses. bombing campaigns with one fucking bomb, blew asking. up one uh, media building that literally ha housed the Associated Press, okay? The Associated Press for 15 fucking years and two refugee camps. So you're gonna sit here and tell me why would they build more refugee camps? They bomb them. They fucking bomb them nonstop. And they do it on purpose. And then you motherfuckers turn around and act like that's not happening. Or if it is happening, it's like actually a good thing that it's happening. Because Hamas was there in secret. And no one saw it. Even the Associated Press uh, didn't see it. Yeah. The Palestinian Children's Relief Fund. A non-profit organization. Their fucking main office uh, blew the fuck up. What are you supposed to do? What are they supposed to do? What are the what are the Palestinians supposed to do? It's crazy to me. This is not even 24 hours after Israel declared a ceasefire, dude. And they're already at Al-Aqsa Mosque, beating the shit out of the Palestinians that are celebrating that ceasefire. Do you think it'd be a good idea if the third party army like Egypt or Jordan defend Palestinian lands in the Al-Aqsa Mosque? Absolutely not. Because then it's further justification for fucking Israel to literally wipe out Lebanon or wipe out uh, the, the uh, Egyptian military. It's literally the same thing that originally happened that Israelis use as a justification for why they maintain control over the entirety of historic Palestine now. Are you kidding me? It's all out fucking war. It would never happen, especially because the Egyptian military and the Lebanese military for the most part have like, they have no fucking firepower in comparison to Israeli firepower. Israel likes to act like they're the fucking small bean, tiny country surrounded by, uh, you know, villains and shit, but they have, they're a oh, nuclear yeah. power with one of the, most impressive militaries on the planet, dude. It's crazy. And they're backed by literally the largest military on the planet. Pong! Yeah, Mr. Base, dude. <laughs> did he actually do it? Yeah, he did. It's crazy. He literally bought, he, he bought historic Palestine back, dude.